It's a weird day, but I want to start cooking. I need to make freezer meals and breakfast prep and things like that. Um, I feel like I'm on the verge of a very chaotic season of my life and I want to prepare for it. I want to have like a meal, a self meal train so that I can just go through it without worrying about what we're going to eat. So that is what we're going to do. I'm wildly unprepared. We're going to just cook with our heart and figure it out as we go. I know I want to make some breakfast stuff. I know I want to make meatloaf patties um, and a few chicken things. One is a untried recipe. One is a recipe that I do all the time. We'll friggin see, but I do know that I need to prep by shredding cheese and also by chopping some vegetables. So let's do that. I am well on my way to being a gardener. I'm just going to plant this. I'm like, it's mostly done. So that can go to the side. I made my husband go get me Swiss cheese and he got like the expensive Swiss cheese. So now I'm kind of bummed out about that. Okay. Hmm. One thing I love to do is I get a rug stay, like one of these little rug holders. And I put it under my cutting board because my cutting boards tend to slide everywhere. They're old and a little bit warped. And this holds it to where I don't have to worry about that as much. Let's do cheese and vegetable, then onions, because last time I cut onions, I cried so hard. They were so potent. All right, I definitely know I need the Swiss cheese and I know I need the cheddar cheese. All right. I was just remembering how the last time I wore this tank top, I was trying to clean something and I splashed bleach on it and how much it bummed me out. And that reminded me that maybe I should get my apron on so I don't cover this in disgusting food. All right, that seems like a reasonable amount for right now. I actually feel like I'm going to end up shredding more, but I hope not. Let's wash this off. All right, the first thing that I'm going to make is a chicken cordon bleu bake. I love chicken cordon bleu, but I can't really remember the last time I had it. It's kind of a disassembled thing, so I need to get this cooking, and then I'm going to chop up the chicken that I, I cooked a whole bunch of chicken Earlier this week when I was making just regular chicken for dinner, I just did a whole bunch so that I would have it for today. So that is already ready. I'm just going to make this. I just need, what do I need? One and a half cups water. So three cups of water and half of a cup of butter. So three cups water, half a cup of butter. Okay. Seems reasonable. Okay, I need coffee. I'm like still dragging. I've tried drinking co coffee today and every single time I'm distracted and then it's cold and gross. So I'm gonna make hot coffee and I'm gonna drink it. Okay, so here's the chicken that I cooked up earlier this week. So let's dice it up and we'll just put it right back into this container. So we're not getting a bunch of other containers. Um, 30. totally discombobulated. So what it is, is that um, my husband's not doing really well, but he's not doing terribly. We're waiting for more doctor's tests. There's just something wrong with his kidneys. And we just, um, we don't have any answers yet. And it's a weird place to be. So what I want to do is we have to go with some more doctor's appointments coming up. And um, I just want everything prepped and ready so that we don't fall back on just ordering in all of the time. Um, and I know I will, I'll just get weird and I'll just order in nonstop. But I know if I have this just in the freezer and I can pop them in, it'll be a lot better. We went through basically all of the freezer meals I made 
um, the other day. I actually tried filming a cooking video for it. It went so sideways. It was not good. Um, so I just like, even in editing, I was just like, this is terrible. I don't know that this will turn out well either, but um, I need something to do. So we're going to cook and we're, I bet you I'm yelling into the mic. I'm sorry, you guys. So we're going to cook. We're going to figure it out. And um, you guys will just have to bear with me and we will get better with practice, won't we? So I need to chop up this chicken. Um, I did make this pasta bake. It was a like pesto Alfredo pasta with chicken and um, you take spinach and you mix it with pesto sauce and then you take chicken and pasta and you mix that with the Alfredo sauce and then you kind of layer it like a lasagna. It was so disgusting. I could not, I took one bite and I was like, what is this disgustingness? And my husband ate like the entire thing. And my son, who was just trying to make me feel better, told me how delicious it was and how he was gonna have seconds. And once I told him that like he didn't need to protect my feelings and that I was okay, even if he didn't want seconds, I wasn't going to be sad. He's like, oh, cool. Is there anything else I could eat? I was like, a hundred percent, dude. This is disgusting. So that was a fail, but maybe this will be good. If it's not good, that's fine too. I'll just um, keep practicing until I get dishes that freeze well, reheat well, taste good. It reheated well. It was just the spinach and the pesto, like just made this really gross flavor. Um, maybe it was just like, I haven't eaten cooked spinach in so long that it tasted too much like cooked spinach. I don't know. Two out of 10, would not recommend. Are you boiling? You're boiling, oh no. Pay attention, Elizabeth, pay attention. Okay, and then stir this in, remove from heat, okay. Just go ahead and remove from heat as we go. Sorry, it was going wild, you guys. I couldn't move you over in time, but um, just picture that you're making uh, stovetop stuffing. That's exactly what it looks like over here. I don't know why, but stovetop stuffing and box ramen, like the really cheap 25 cent ramen, um, it just feels right that you stir it with a fork. That's what I did in my childhood. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm fine with it, not actually everything cooking through. I need it to cool and be able to layer the rest of this on it cold. Since I'm assembling it cold and anticipating cooking it later, um, I would much rather everything be of a similar temperature than mixing hot and cold together and, you know, making it weird. Ugh, gross. I do not like it when there are chicken veins. I like bloodless chicken. Ready, Leroy? Nope, didn't catch it. You're a dum-dum. I saved these pieces for the other dogs. They're just not interested, and I'd rather not attract them like sharks to blood. Okay, so that's chopped up. I think what I will do is check my recipe. Get out, mister. We are going with North Dakota today because that is where my soul is from. And I'm homesick. Okay, so I got the honey ham, which kicked this all off. I bought it to just eat, and it's disgusting by itself. And I didn't want to throw it out. So I was looking up recipes, and this one came up. And I was like, oh, I have almost all of the ingredients, and I have disgusting ham. Let's see if we can make it into something I'll eat. All right. 
oh, you know what? This is supposed to go on the very top. Okay, as much as I don't want to keep just making dishes, I also want this to cool down sometime today. So we're going to um, spread it out. Hot. Whew, look at that, you guys. It is freaking hot. What I should have done is... Um, cut out all of the stovetop part and be like, oh, by the way, I just whipped up the stuffing on my own because I'm amazing like that. Um, because that would have been funny. Also, a lot more impressive than stovetop. Okay, so this is clearly going to take forever to cool down. I'm going to scoop out a little bit more on this plate. And I think I should move to the dreaded chore of chopping onions. I'm going to wash this out so it just comes out really easily because everything's still soft. And then um, chop some onions. All right, this can be for my trash. You don't need to be open, do you? All right, so... I need to finally chop some of these onions and then I think I just want to slice some of them. So finely chopped and then slices if that's the way we go. Damn it. The core of this one is bad. I've had the worst luck with onions from Sam's Club lately. They just turn so fast, I don't understand it. At least they're not as, I think I may have spoken too soon. I can feel this onion already. Cool. Damn. Just getting like old onions in because I have not had such a hard time keeping onions from going bad and from being this spicy. I'm not kidding. The other ones were awful. And these are awful. And I just... Oh my God, what is, in, what is my life? I hate this. No, Leroy, I'm fine. Don't be a part of this. Oh my gosh. Regrets. Oh my God, I have so many regrets right now. Maybe we don't even need food. Like who needs to feed their family? It's not worth it. <sighs> okay. I don't even know if we have mint anymore because my husband took all of his stupid mints to work. Because in general, I hate mints. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I can do it. I feel like my superpowers are kicking in. This onion doesn't bother me at all. I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'll like try to edit out as much sniffling as I can, but I will not edit out my complaining. I love to complain. This is my right. It's an American. I get to bitch and moan about spicy onions. Oh my gosh. I need another freaking diced onion too. It's not enough. Okay, let's blow my nose real quick. 
like how I say let's blow my nose, like it's a team event. Come with me to blow my nose. We can do this, guys. Here we go. Whew. Back at it. This onion, this onion will be fine. It's going to be a super chill onion. You don't have to worry about it as much. The inside looks good. A little bit green. Growing out a little bit. Sorry, I'm in such a weird mood. I think it's a lot of meat. We might need three onions. And since we're in it, we should just keep going, get all the onions done. All right, that's it. I don't, I don't care anymore. I don't care that they're going to be huge chunks. I don't care. And also, I'm not going to chop the other onions right now. I just don't care. Oh, my gosh. It's torture. Move over here, onions. Oh, oh my. Okay. That is miserable and terrible, and I hated it. So let's throw these away. Like I can even feel it like in the back of my throat. It's probably exactly like being pepper sprayed. There's no difference between what just happened to me and being pepper sprayed. All right, so we chopped those onions to make um, meatloaf patties. We do not eat enough meatloaf to eat a meatloaf. We eat hamburger patties that are seasoned like meatloaf. Um, and so we're gonna assemble that. Uh, they taste delicious. They are super, super easy to cook up. I have a little bit more left in my freezer and I just really enjoyed them. Also, let's get through this while we, I can talk and do this at the same time. Let me get everything together. Okay, so another reason why we like eating these, oh my gosh, here we go. So another reason would be because we buy our beef from a butcher and it was our first time using this butcher. We bought half a beef and the, um, the, I guess, grind, the thickness of how much this is ground is really, really distasteful. It's just, I'm going to go through here and I'm going to get out like some hard pieces of tendon. It's not really fat, it's tendon. And it's just, there's a texture to it that is really uncomfortable to eat. So um, if we blend it, this beef plus store-bought beef that's blended a little bit more finely and maybe like less tendons, less undesirable chunks of beef, um, it's just, it's more palatable that way. And that's how we're having to work through the last of our ground beef. Um, I loved the pork that I got from this farmer, but I did not care for the ground beef um, or much of the, the, the beef. It just, um, uh, I don't know, like the cuts and the processing. It was the processing of the meat that I, object to, not the meat itself. Okay. Smells perfect, smells fresh. Just checking because I get all weird about things. All right. I'm going to briefly go through here and see if I can feel anything really offensive. And that's, oh, so that's also why we're adding in chunks of onion and breadcrumbs and things like that because, you know, it's easier to tell yourself that it was onion that you just bit into and just makes things go down a little bit easier. Probably not the best topic of conversation whilst showing you guys how to cook. I'm just trying to show you how we're trying very hard not to be wasteful of the product, you know, and still work, work around some of the issues we have. I grew up on a beef ranch, so 
this sort of thing doesn't really, I'm not squeamish about it, you know. You know where your meat comes from when you raise your meat and you understand all the work that goes into making the meat and you want to respect that and you want to do your best with it. And so I just, I know better with how it gets processed next time. Okay, so with this, I am going to add in some store-bought ground beef. And then maybe a tiny bit of pork because I absolutely hate this ground pork. Love the rest of the pig, every other part, but I need to find a way to get through this ground pork that is not absolutely horrifying. Even when I, oh, the texture is just so soggy. It's just, hold up. So anyways, that's why there is just a ton of meat in here. Okay, I'm going to throw this away. I'm going to wash this off. I'm going to wash my hands and start adding in the other things. All right, so unfortunately, this is going to be a lot of measure with your heart um, and just go off of how I feel like it. But I'm going to just add four eggs because that seems like a reasonable amount of eggs for this much. It has got to be six, seven pounds of meat. Probably should use more eggs, but we'll see how it feels. Hello, eggshell. Come back here. Get back over here. Got it. Okay. Eggshells. A ton. Oh. Okay. We are going to do a little bit of onion. It looks like a lot, you guys, but there's a lot of meat in there. Garlic. Salt. A little bit less salt than usual because I am going to use this better than bouillon roasted beef seasoning, and that is really salty and really, really delicious. It's what makes this so good. And I hate this freaking pepper grinder. So let me fast forward for the next three hours while I try to get this pepper out. I give up. It's just not worth it for me. If it desires pepper, if anybody desires pepper at the end, we will just add pepper. Okay. Boop. Okay. Now, coffee. You know what? I think I want to add Parmesan just for fun. Okay, let's, and I am not going to taste this because gross, but I go with how well I think it looks. So, mixing. I can still feel the onion. Like, I can still feel the onion. The onion. Oh, my God. Looks like a lot of onion for this much meatloaf. All right, so... In general, this looks like two onions was too much for seven pounds. Um, but it could just be because it hasn't fully incorporated yet, but it does look like a really significant amount of onions. We'll see how it goes as it blends. Mm, it's not as bad as it originally looked. It does still look like it's a little bit, it's gonna be heavy on the onion, this meatloaf. But, um, I think that I don't care. I just I don't care. It'll either taste fine or it won't be the greatest and I will have to like 
space it out with regular patties or hide it in potatoes and gravy or something like that, but it's just not something I'm gonna put energy into. All right, so it does feel like a good consistency to make a patty. This ham's not coated in meat yet, so I'm gonna try to see if I can get organized with just one hand. I can't, I feel like that's insane. Okay, we have to wash. We need two hands. Okay, let's make some patties. Perfect. One batch of meals done. This is cool down enough that we can assemble our um, chicken cordon bleu meal. It is new to me, so I do want the recipe. So what we're going to want is a can of cream of chicken soup, undiluted, and a cup of 2% milk, but we only drink whole milk. So that is what I'm gonna go get. Hi, sweet potato pie. Did you come to tell me something? So we're mixing our cream of chicken soup with the milk. I think I was intending to do this in a bowl and then I got distracted. Now it's in here. I know, sweet potato, I made a mistake again. Oh my. So we don't have chickens, we don't have a compost, we don't have anything like that. So um, all of my trash and all of my scraps and everything like that is just going into the same bowl because it's just going to have to go to the same trash. I wish we could compost or have chickens or something like that, but we just live in your basic neighborhood with an HOA and neighbors who are mean to each other on Facebook. Now you can, you don't have to freeze this. You can go straight to oven, but I am not going to be doing that. So what I need to do is, how much chicken does it think I need? Eight cups of cubed chicken. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I'm gonna do it into two small dishes. It's supposed to go into two grease 13 by nine. This is gonna make way too much food. So I have home rendered lard from the pig that I bought. And it is frozen solid. So I rendered for the first time and I didn't trust my rendering process. I went really, really slow and it took a very long time and I still didn't feel like I got all of the water out. And it's water in the lard that can make it go rancid so it wouldn't have been shelf stable. So um, I didn't trust my rendering and so I put it in the freezer. And then as we go through our jars of lard, I pull them out and we went through my last jar of lard with my, um, I made some broccoli, which we love, and I never pulled a second one out. So now I'm like chiseling out really cold frozen lard, and like it immediately melts. It, it melts so fast, but that is what we're working with right now. You know what? Screw it. I'm not, I'm not gonna use that dish. So. So it's diced chicken on the bottom. Okay. All right. 
This can get more chicken. Hmm. Okay, so fun fact, we're, look at this little dish. Look at this little dish we got right here. Okay. So we definitely can't make chicken enchiladas because this is all of my chicken. And then it wants me to layer with ham. Come here, ham. This is really, really thin ham, so I think I'll do two layers because also I don't want any more ham. This ham is gross. I do not want it to eat by itself. I am not its friend. Ham. Okay, that's one layer. I bet you we can do double layers on everything. And I think that would taste fine. It's really thin. I don't think lunch meat ham is typically what goes on chicken cordon bleu. It's been so long. I really only ever ate it um, when I was in the army and they had it at the chow hall. That was, I was thrilled when they had it. I loved it. I would eat it and then like never thought of it again. I don't even know if civilians eat this. Maybe it's just military food. I've been a civilian for so long, it's like ridiculous to pretend otherwise. Okay, used up all my disgusting ham and now it wants me to sprinkle with Swiss cheese, but I feel hammy. Just get a little of the ham off me. Okay, sprinkle with Swiss cheese. And one cup of the cheddar cheese. So I guess the cheddar cheese is divided. I hated Swiss cheese for the longest time, and it is my favorite cheese now. I eat it um, just like by the chunk now. It's so delicious. I love it in breakfast sandwiches, like an egg and bacon breakfast sandwich with Swiss cheese. It's so delicious to me. All right, let's add a little bit of the cheddar. So, because it does call for one cup, but it's divided between two 13 by nines. Also, um, why measure things when you can just wing it and see what happens next? I bet you I'd be a better chef if I followed recipes. Okay, so this, now we're going to do stuffing and soup mixture. What do you think we put on first? It doesn't say. It says layer with ham, Swiss cheese, one cup cheddar cheese, soup mixture, and stuffing. But there isn't a comma after soup mixture and stuffing. So that without the Oxford comma, that puts it soup mixture and stuffing. This is going to be a job for my hands. Oh no. Oh no. Pull it together, Elizabeth. This is nice and cold now. Use this. I love that I'm not doing two larger pans and I'm doing three smaller pans. This is three nights plus leftovers probably for us as a family. Um, it's, it's too many flavors mixed together for the kids. And it probably seems really selfish that I'm just like making meals for my husband and I, my husband and I, plus maybe our son. But honestly, with the twins autism, they do not eat blended foods. We eat a protein, a vegetable, and a fruit, maybe a starch. Like maybe they'll eat rice. Maybe they'll have, um, I named it. That was it. They don't eat mashed potatoes. They don't eat regular cooked potatoes. They sometimes will eat plain pasta, but what's the point in having plain pasta? So they just get 
separate meals and I make sure they have those meals, but it doesn't mean we only want to eat that way. I, I bet we end up that way because I'm deeply concerned about how much sodium is in this and I'm worried that I'm doing something wrong here. Um, but until we have more answers, I will just put these in the freezer and if they turn out they're just not good for us, I will um, gift them to somebody else who's in need of a well-prepared uh, home-cooked meal during a time of overwhelm and we will just eat different food. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, so some of these I have lids to, some of them I do not, and I absolutely don't have any more tinfoil. Did I buy tinfoil? That feels like something I would have done. Um, I'm just adding a little bit more of the cheddar cheese. I don't want to add too much because I just didn't think cheddar cheese was a part of this. So, um, let's see about lids. Maybe? <gasps> yes! Winning! Yes! To be honest, I don't think this even had one. Okay, I still don't have any tin foil because I just keep forgetting to purchase it. Um, but this is how it looks when it's finally assembled. I realized I'm not really showing you guys the food that much. What? Who said my name? Okay, let's make the oatmeal that I love. To go back to the granola, we're going to preheat the oven to 300. And I want a very large bowl. I need to get through these pecans, so we're gonna do maple pecan. All right, let's just get this going. Six cups of rolled oats. Dun, dun, dun. Um, three cups raw nuts or seeds chopped. Three, good enough for me. All right. We're just going to add a little bit of this for flavor. And a cup and a half of sweetener sounds batshit crazy, to be honest. Do brown sugar. We're just going to do a cup. One. Two. It just seems like way too much sweetener. How much flour did they say they wanted? They wanted one cup flour. Oof. One. Okay. Two. Three. Two, a third of a cup of oil, and two teaspoons of salt. I want different salt. Where are salt? That is about two teaspoons of salt. And I need a little bit of oil, a third of a cup of oil. Let's use avocado, shall we? My oven's preheated. Two egg whites. Okay. And then I'm gonna save the yolks for my dogs. Be like that. I'm not used to separating, so I guess I'm a little bit aggressive. And be done. All right, get in there. Get 
See my little yokies right there? Ugh, disgusting. All right, let's spin it up. Not gonna lie, the pecans look like raisins, like little raisins. Some of this is like kind of moist and some of it is really still quite dry. So, because I didn't add a half a cup of water. Okay, let me get that. Okay, that should help with the moisture considerably. And if for some reason it still feels a little too dry, we can just add in a little bit more water. But it does feel like everything's getting a little bit of moisture to it. The flour and the raw, the egg yolk, not raw, it's going to cook, will help make it chunks. And if, you, if you're careful when you turn it, because we're going to turn it halfway after it's baking, if you're careful and not to break it up too much, it stays into nice, good sized chunks and i really enjoy that it just it's better as a snack i just eat it straight but also i feel like it goes a little bit better in yogurt we're gonna have to do it in batches this is more reasonable this i remember I haven't made this in about a year, in about eight months. Okay, so look, this is way less over full. It's a much thinner layer. This is going to go in the oven and we will bake it for 20 minutes. And um, I'm gonna flip it after 20 minutes, let it bake another 20 minutes and see how it looks. All right, so it's been 20 minutes. Let's pull these out. Ah, it smells good. It smells really good, you guys. It smells like maple oatmeal, which is my favorite. Let's see if I can flip this with the least amount of like breaking because I do want it to stay really chunky. But man, okay, so it is a lot more. Um, Oh, I went under the parchment. It's a lot looser than I've made it before. It is not as solid, but that's okay because it has to be. Can't go back in time. Can't change it. It's going to taste good. It smells like it's going to taste good. All right, so let's put this bad boy back in there. So the pasta is cooked al dente because we're going to have to bake it again later anyway, so it doesn't need to be fully cooked. And I, again, want it to cool down before I assemble it, but I do want it to be hot when I mix in the cream cheese. I realize I didn't even tell you what I'm making. So the last thing that I'm going to make separately, it's one of my husband's favorite dishes from his childhood. It is tuna casserole. Sounds gross, tastes fine. But Lent starts on Wednesday, on Valentine's Day, and we're Catholic. So I also wanted to put away some non-meat dishes for Fridays. <clears throat> feels like it came early this year uh we do have some frozen fish and things like that but this would also just be i'll be grateful that i have one that's fish and um whoop there it goes i did little over half because i wanted extra and i'm too ashamed to put a full brick in these noodles i bought in bulk and they are more whole wheat than i thought they would be i do not care for them um I'm just not the sort of person that eats healthfully. Like I want to, I do, I want to, woof, that is steamy. I want to pretend like I enjoy whole wheat pasta and like brown rice and crap like that. I don't, it's disgusting. I don't want to eat it. I don't think it should be a part of my life. I want to eat refined flour and entire bricks of cream cheese. So we are gonna use two cans of cream of chicken soup because I have neither cream of broccoli nor cream of asparagus, and I'm not interested into going into town 
for a can of soup. That sounds like something I'm never going to do. So um, we're just going to keep trying to get this to mix in. We're going to let the noodles cool off, assemble everything else and mix it in. Um, put them in smaller dishes and throw them in our freezer and we'll have a few more meals prepared for us. It looks weird. So, still has a little bit of radiant heat, but not terrible. I'm going to add, I'm just going to start assembling because I'm kind of tired. So I like to do more garlic powder than onion powder because onion powder tastes so much stronger than garlic. Oh, it was a shelf above. It shouldn't have been that high. Okay, you know what I almost forgot is the tuna. Okay, yep, yeah, there we go. I'm surprised the cats haven't been like, oh my God, what's happening? It smells amazing. Cheese. This cheese got a little bit warmer because it's from when I grated it previously and it is in chunks. Um, stick to the back of my spoon. There we go. This is the worst spoon to try to mix with. I just had it from the noodles and just kept going. No. Bag of peas, frozen. I did not think they were gonna come out like that. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, looks gross, tastes fine. It's not my favorite, but my husband really loves it and he has some nostalgia for it, so. All right, I want to do, let's see if I can get it in this and have a little leftover there if, if I need. I really don't want to buckle, but this spoon sucks. I would not care if I was just throwing this in the oven. However, um, I don't want there to be cheese and sauce between the saran wrap and the, the dish. Okay, this is what we got accomplished today. We have some breakfast granola, another one in the oven, but I am not waiting to wrap this up for another 40 minutes. We have several different meals of chicken cordon bleu. We have our tuna casserole, and then we also have a lot of different meatloafs that I can have as like my main protein and then throw in some vegetables and the starch and this makes me feel a lot better i thank you for hanging out with me i know it was weird i know it was messy and disorganized but that is how i roll and i will do maybe i'll be more organized at least we've got this one under our belts we have a good idea of how these cooking shows are going to go and um yeah i love you bye